Hello guys, welcome back to Solid Motion VFX. We did a tutorial on uh, Malbus Animal Controller and Emerald AI and also Blaze AI. Today we'll be looking at how to use it with FPS Engine, my favorite FPS shooter asset. Okay, so it's pretty easy. First of all, I'm not going to show you how to set up this Malbus Animal Controller AI because uh, it's pretty comprehensive and uh, extensive. You have to look up in the documentation. There's plenty of tutorials on that already, but just know that uh, I have set him up so he can actually detect and attack my player. Uh, if you go into the Steve here, this is this is the guy here, the AI. He has this AI component in here. Basically, it's running with this animal brain where they have these states. So the current states basically just says that it's going to look for my player if it's near. And my player has a player transform. In this case, this is my cousin. Okay, so when it detects me, it will go after me. So let's go into the FPS engine here. So on the player side here, uh, let's see here on the movement. Ensure that you set up uh, your ground layer, of course. So right now I'm using a ground for my terrain here. So ensure that that is enabled. Okay. And let's see here uh, on the weapon controller. I'm using this M SMG weapon and uh, as my initial weapon. And on this one. This is where you're going to set things up. Ensure to use projectile, not hit scan. Um, then the default bullet here. If we open up that, here's the bullet. Ensure you have a box collider on it and set it to trigger and add this attack trigger. In this attack trigger, make sure you set it to active and hit layer. As previous tutorials, remember, and the hit layer, go in and duplicate the original one, make your own. And on this, uh, on this custom one, make sure that you have set up you layer to hit, so we want to make sure to hit the animal controller and it uh, has the layer of animal, so enable this one. On the damage, you can set how much you want to damage. I set it to 30, 30. Extras, we don't want anything here. Profiles and events, again, nothing is needed here. This attract trigger will ensure that any game object which has an indamageable component on it will uh, take damage. On the Steve AI, you can see every animal controller has this indamageable. And so, we do that on the player cell so we can take damage. So go back to your player, add in this damageable component. When you do this, it's also going to add the stats. And the stats can have a default health value of 100. Now, to be able to die, go into your events on your stats. Remember, this stats comes with damageable. On your events, go into this uh, health empty. On this health empty, you're going to drag down your player stats because this is the FPS engine self. So you have this player states, and in the state you have this uh, max health here. So what I did was just drag down player states down to this component here. And then on the functions here, I just choose player states and damage float. And I set it to 100. Okay. So remember that on your stats manager, go into events, drag down your FPS engine player stats down here and then set it to player damage 100 so that means they will follow each other and they will die on your player go to your weapon controller and under variables remember to set the hit layer here as well make sure to select animal with this setup we should be able to be detected and also take damage and also deal damage let's see if it works okay here's the Steve if we go in front of him yes he's damaging us and let's see if we die that's it now let's see if we can actually deal damage to him yep and he died as well so that's it that's how easy it is guys thank you for this very short tutorial here if you have any comment or questions please leave them in the section and i will be glad to answer them okay see you guys